Hello, my name is Kalista Laura. I am from the Faculty of Teacher Training and Education FIP at Majaya Catholic University of Indonesia. Today, I'm going to present a paper entitled Evaluating an English Online Module for Young Learners Through Learning Object Review Instruments Lottery Specification. These are the table of contents. First, introduction. These study research multimedia learning resources. Teachers have been using multimedia learning resources in their classrooms because they have so many advantages. However, the use of multimedia learning resources actually cause some problems. Why? Because teachers do not bother to check the quality or the suitability of the multimedia learning resources. They can hinder the learning process of the students. They also do not fulfill the duty of ICP. That's why content analysis must be done to fix these problems. Content analysis is a quantitative analysis after evaluation using tools that can elicit rates and comments. The evaluation aspects in Donut 2004 are content quality, learning goal alignment, feedback and adaptation, motivation, presentation design, interaction usability, accessibility, reusability, and standards compliance. Leacock and Nesby 2007 use Donuts 2004 as their foundation theory. That's why they have the same aspects. I did content analysis on English Learning Module, which is an online module created by the English Education Department to teach young learners during an, a community service program. <clears throat> who are these young learners? They are children ages from 2 to 15 years old who go on to preschool or the first few years of schooling. There are previous studies with similar topic as mine. Their findings indicate that English online modules are well qualified, although they have some weaknesses. Second, study purposes. This study aims to evaluate the quality of EFL multimedia learning resources for young learners created by the English Education Department. Another purpose is to create a reference for future ESL EFL teachers who want to do the same. To achieve the study objective, a research question is formulated. What are the strengths and weaknesses of the English online module for young learners? Third, methodology. A mixed research design of content analysis is used as the research design. The data study comes from the learning objects found in the English learning module, and a matrix is used uh, as the instrument to evaluate the strengths and weaknesses. Talking about the data collection procedure, it consists of determining whether the English learning module follows the criteria of multimedia learning resources, inspected the learning objects found in the English learning module as the research data, classified the data such as learning goals, instructions, learning activities, learning assessments, and media by referring to the required aspects in Lottie. Meanwhile, the analysis consists of evaluated the multimedia learning resources using the adapted Lori 2007, interpreted the ratings with adapted Mahfiros 2007 classification table, described the ratings if necessary, and the last one is calculated the average of the ratings using the following formula to find the overall score. Fourth, findings and discussion. Based on the findings in Table 2, we can say that the strong points can be found in the learning goal alignment, motivation, presentation design, and interaction usability. Meanwhile, moderate points are given to the content quality, feedback and adaptation, and accessibility because they still contain some weaknesses. The overall score of English learning module is 4, indicating that it is a decent learning tool to teach young uh, language learners. The first category that we are going to discuss is learning goal alignment. It gets a score of five because learning goals and indicators are explicitly written in the front page. The topic matches the national standards of curriculum 2013. The learning material, exercises, and assessments are in line with the learning goals. The activities are uh, adequate since um, they prepare the learners to reach the learning objectives. The second one is presentation design. It gets a score of five because the module is aesthetically pleasing, um, not distracting, complete with videos and clear audio, clear, concise, and free from error. The next one is interaction usability. It gets a score of five 
because the module um, doesn't have uh, any common issues. Uh, the navigation is easy, intuitive, and free from delays. There are guides written to help the learners to operate the module, and the behavior of the user interface is consistent and predictable. And then the last one is motivation. It gets a score of four because uh, the module can motivate learners to a high degree. The topic uh, suits the young learners' preference of a uh, world around them, the variety of learning activities can increase the interest of the students, the score and feedback towards this uh, learner's answers are also provided. The only issue is the difficulty levels. And for the moderate points, the first one is content quality. It gets a score of three because the module can meet several conditions from Lori. So the contents are error free, concise and supported with information from credible sources. However, uh, it is unable to present a broad representation of culture and it fails the reusability aspect since the learning material contains the creator's name. And then there is feedback and adaptation. It gets a score of three because uh, the module can detect correct answers and we fill answer keys. However, not all learning activities or materials or assessments can uh, have these features. And then the last one is, is accessibility. It gets a score of three because the module can meet several conditions from Lori. So disabled, lear disabled learners can still access the learning object because specific accommodations are provided for them. It also follows 67% of the WCAG 2.1 level AAA checklist. Uh, however, the number is not enough for a learning object. Fifth is uh, conclusion. The module's strong points can be found in the learning goal alignment, presentation design, interaction usability, and motivation. The moderate aspects with room for improvement are content quality, feedback, and adaptation, and accessibility. The English learning module was considered decent because uh, it received a score of four. And higher evaluation results can uh, be an acknowledgement regarding the strong points of the module. Meanwhile, the lower one may perhaps become an insight into improving the module quality. Based on the last conclusion, I highly recommend website designers and developers to refer to the evaluation results of the weak points of the module and revise the online module by depending on them. And this is the bibliographical references. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.